In part two of our antenna mega series, we will look, on, look at how to choose the right antenna for your purpose. Consider the case of a person who has been using a dipole antenna for his applications. Due to its uh, simplicity and its donut shaped radiation pattern. However, the dipole is limited in its bandwidth and due to recent design changes, the user now requires an antenna which will operate between 1 and 3 GHz. Through selection or direct typing of keywords, the user can specify that he needs a dipole antenna. He specifies that it needs to have a donut shaped radiation pattern and he can make his options even easier to choose from by selecting the frequency range, in this case a UHF antenna, but most importantly it needs to be a wideband antenna. He is left with three choices. In order to narrow down his choices even more, he can add these antennas to the info browser, where it is now easy to compare the performance of these antennas. The user can choose the antenna that he needs to compare it to, and in this case, we compare the rounded bow tie to the solid biconical antenna. Now since his requirement was to have a larger bandwidth, he can immediately see from this information that the biconical antenna will have the larger bandwidth. But he can further compare other information, for instance, how to feed the two antennas, what their performance is like, can directly compare the far field patterns. And based on this information, he decides to, to design the solid biconical antenna. For more information on how to design an antenna in Antenna Magus, please refer to part 3 of this series.